Hi, my name is Marla, and I'm a native English speaker from California in the U.S. I love languages, and I really believe um, that everyone should learn at least one other language besides their native one. Um, it just really opens a whole part of the world to you that you wouldn't have if you didn't have that language. Um, Personally, I have learned, uh, I took French in college for four years and I lived in France for a year. So I can speak like B1, B2 level French. Um, hopefully I'm going to improve on that. Um, and I have a huge long list of languages I still want to learn. So I definitely know what it's like to be a language learner and I understand how it can be really frustrating and hard and um, nerve wracking. Um, my teaching experience, um, I was a teacher's assistant in France. French my in college um, so I led lessons by myself the teacher wasn't there and I um, helped grade homework helped with grammar for beginning French students and I also taught French in elementary school when I was in college and after college I moved to France where I taught English for a, a whole school year at a university um, which I absolutely loved and that's why I want to continue um, teaching English here with italki. I, I just loved helping students learn English. Um, my teaching style, um, I really don't, okay, for me personally, when I learn a language, I, I get really nervous talking, talking. Um, it's like I could know all the words, I could know what I'm supposed to say, but I just get really, really nervous. So, um, my teaching style is to really instill confidence in my students. Like, you can do it. Like, even if you're making mistakes, like, that's totally fine. Like, I'll help you through that because I, I know it's really hard to push through when you're nervous. Um, and another thing that is really important to me, when I was learning French and I knew the teacher could speak English, I would speak English because I know you understand me. So when I have students, I guess this only really applies to French students, but um, as I learn other languages too, um, I don't think the student should know my level of their language because that just gives you an excuse to speak in your native tongue instead of pushing yourself to learn English. Um, one thing that I did when I was teaching in France is I n absolutely never spoke French in front of my students. And if students would ask me a question in French in class, if a student would ask me a question in French in class, I would just tell them I don't understand. You have to ask me in English. And you know what? They know how to ask in English. They would always follow through. They would ask ask the question in English. They knew how to do it in the first place. But if you know the person speaks your language, then you're more likely to try it. You're not going to challenge yourself. So that is really important to me. I know for myself, too. Um, when I know they speak English, I speak English. So... Um, you should choose me to be your teacher because I am super nice and I, like I said, I, I really understand the frustrations of learning a language. I myself am a shy person, so when I was in France or in French class, it was really awkward for me to speak up and that, um, I always resorted to speaking English and I think that really held me back. So it's important to me to make sure you feel confident no matter what your level is and you don't feel afraid to like put to push yourself um when we are in our lessons um I love languages I'm really passionate about them and I just love helping people learn to speak English um I, I if I could go back to France and teach again I would do it so yeah thanks bye